Look at that in the sky. We see that every night. You can see that. What? A Something going on like that across the sky. That is not a. Uh, that is not a satellite. It's a falling star. A falling or the slowest. Ball lightning. The, it, you can't say it's ball lightning because the sky is crystal clear, not a cloud to be seen. It's called clear night ball lightning. <laughs> Very rare phenomenon. Look at that. It's a shooting ball lightning. And my mind, if you, if you looked up in the sky and you saw that, you'd go, you know, there we are. Right? You absolutely would. That's pretty cool, actually. How long is it going on for? Long time. How big is the sky? That's a weird one, though, right? Yeah, it is. I've been watching a lot about stars lately. Mm -hmm. And you know, the stars out there that are like 10 billion times bigger than Oh, yeah, than like our our, if you see on a scale, our sun is like this, and the other ones are like this big. It's huge. Yeah. And they're that big. They're too big to eat themselves. Yeah. Do you, you think... You know, for instance, like one light year, mm -hmm. it's about 18,000 normal years. Yeah. So when they're like, oh, the nearest star, it's only 45 light years away, you're like, yeah, that's gonna... That's like a... A billion light years. Yeah. It's like insane. You'll be dead when you get there, yeah. mate. You'll be dead before you... 18,000 years. You'd take off and you'd be dead. They'll figure it out. Smart people. I, I, I've got a funny feeling that eventually they'll find a shortcut. To... Oh, they'll figure out the wormhole and, you know, all the how the aliens do it. They think that in every galaxy, at the center of it is a supermassive black hole. But we, we, we think of black holes as being like somewhere that you're going to die. It could be a hole to the next level. The next, uh... Well, now physicists are saying that the Big Bang Theory is wrong and that we really don't understand the creation of the universe, so they're basically now saying it's just always been here, and there's no way to really figure that out, what created it. God. Mm -hmm. This is where Sharon gets... A picture gets... of Mary. Mary, Mary <laughs> did it, flying Mary over Uganda. What do we give that one? I'll give that a nine. A nine? I'm in. Mum, nine? What do you give it? it? Ten, a twelve? a UFO. Six. A six. Well, it looks like the re-education of my father is working. However, Mum, we have a long way to go. We might have to change up the tactics. All right, so this next clip comes to us from Monterey, Mexico. It's very well known. Uh, in fact, I have friends who traveled to Mexico to investigate this clip, and their investigation left them with more questions. This is from May 17th, 2006. Ahí está, mira. It's like a witch. That's exactly what they say this is. They say it's a witch on a broom. On a broom. Stop. But look, it's so red. It's a witch to an ex girlfriend of mine. I don't know, it's just got a bin bag. But it's red. You can see when it goes in front, you see this, it's red. Yeah. And black. A red bin bag. If it was a witch, you'd have a green face and a black, big black hat. And you're going. <laughs> if he's in a valley, you got like a uh, a gut, like wind gust. But because of that, it's in a valley. This is a strict no-fly zone. So airplanes and helicopters aren't no, allowed to fly. No, but what I'm saying, it's not a bag. It's, it's a bag. It's a balloon. Or you think it's so, just someone's like filled some something kind with of, helium? Yeah, some kind of. Um, That's creepy. It looks parachute like a goblin. Or... I mean, it looks it, like the green I goblin. can see why they say it looks like a wish. <laughs> Witch on a broomstick. All right, Woogie Boogie Scale, where are you at? I'll give that seven. You give that a seven. What Mom, do you what do you give it? Um, six. Our next destination on our paranormal journey is Iceland, so we can visit with a mysterious creature. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, apparently Iceland has a strong belief in elves. Before we watch, here's a fun fact for all you elf lovers. Um, Iceland. Ronnie Iceland James Dill was an elf. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, Icelanders believe that elves live in a parallel universe to humans and can make themselves visible at will. They're basically interdimensional beings. All right, this clip's weird because this <laughs> thing, I have no idea what it is, and it looks very human-like. This is August 11th, 2020. Look at that thing. Look at it. What the f is that? 
see that? Look. Yeah, it looked like a... It looked um, like a lizard, right? Yes, just no, like a lizard. No lizards in Iceland. That's pretty cool. There's, that kid looks like a giant yeah, iguana, does. right? That's what it looks There's like. There's no f***ing iguanas. What's an iguana? Iguana's like a lizard. Big lizard. Oh, yeah, it looks like a lizard, yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's closer to the camera than you. Yeah, maybe, but still, it. What stop lizard, it now, stop. What lizards live in Iceland? I've never heard of an Icelandic lizard. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it looks pretty convincing. That looks very pretty compelling. If I saw that, I don't know about an elf, but it's definitely something. Yeah, exactly. Like, if it's not an elf, what is it? It's an it's... iguana that w is trying to be an elf. <laughs> <laughs> it's an iguana who identifies as an as elf. As an elf. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows he's got to identify as an elf because and... there's no, they're not allowed. <laughs> and it's no one's place to tell him he's not. That's right. If he wants to be an elf, he's an elf. That's right. What do you guys give that clip? Uh, seven. A I'll seven. give it seven, yeah. too. Now we're getting somewhere. I think it's a good one. Do you, want some, fun, do you want some fun Iceland facts? Yes. OK. 53% over half of Iceland natives believe in the existence of elves. What's, 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 what's the 100% of the population of 10? I think there's only, what, a million people in Iceland or less? I've never been to Iceland, have you? I've never been to Iceland. No, I went to school with a kid from Iceland, though. Nice kid. Yeah. Do you know the first dating app ever was created in Iceland? Well, you know why? Because they wanted to increase There's the population. There. Well, no, they they actually needed a dating app to find out if you were related to someone before you slept with them. Oh. Because the population's so small. Yeah, yeah. So it was like, oh wait, you're um. Screwing your brother. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the elf on a shelf. Um, ice shelf. Ready for another stamp in the paranormal passport? Well, here we go. This happened on a small bridge in Uttar Pradesh, India. Oh, yeah. Pay attention to the guy on the bike. Do, 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 do. And then the guy's gone. Like, where the f did he go? Did he jump off the side of the bridge? Look, I know they're over water, but the guy's gone. How weird is that? That's a weird one. What There's... am I looking at? OK, man on bike. Right. Look, he doesn't pass him here. And then when he goes back, the guy's gone. She's pretty good. If that would happen to me, I'd go and I've got to get one of them bikes. <laughs> <laughs> A flying bike. <laughs> it's the interdimensional bike. So the guy who filmed this clip named Anker did not notice the biker until he went back into randomly looking at the video on his phone. It still haunts him to this day, uh, and he believes there is he some connection. He couldn't have jumped off the side, could he? We threw the bike as well. Well, that's that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Not unless he jumped, but he would have gone quick, and he would have I mean, been a splash, and he would have stopped the car. So wouldn't he? one, two, like you should have. He's got no head. He has. I just don't understand it myself. I don't understand. Like, I can't work that out. I can't think of anything it could be. Or from a goes. What do we give that one? Seven. Seven? Mum? Five. Five? Yep. 